A Zimvelo KZN Wildlife has taken decisive action in response to the alarming surge and poaching incidents, particularly within Hluluwe Mfolozi Park uh, during 2023. Despite concerted efforts, the province lost 325 rhino in 2023, with a significant 307 of those poached within HIP. To address uh, this crisis and in collaboration with the WWF uh, South Africa, Zimvelo initiated Initiated an HIP dehorning program on the 8th of April with efforts now well underway. And uh, for more on this, uh, we are now joined by Ezimvelo KZN Wildlife Scientific Services Executive Manager, Cho Joe Padima, and he joins us now via our video link. Joe, thank you so much for your time this evening here in SABC News. I mean, just looking at the statistics coming out uh, from KwaZulu-Natal, 325 rhino lost just in 2023 alone. This is quite concerning. Um, thank you very much uh, for having us, uh, Bali. Uh, quite alarming it is uh, for us to find ourselves in a situation where we have reached that number. Um, it is quite unprecedented, um, and that is the reason why we have elected uh, to now initiate what we call, you know, the one of the critical tools in our uh, anti-poaching uh, toolbox of fighting the scourge of rhino, which is dehorning. Oh. So, so what it means in essence to us is that having taken all the steps that we have taken previously, we have now reached a threshold, which we call a 6% threshold, at which the rate at which we're losing uh, rhino to, rhinos to poaching requires us uh, of us to trigger uh, this rhino dehorning program. So that's really the 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 the, the reason why. Um, a very expensive uh, at that, yeah. and that's why we have had to work together with uh, our partners. Mm. And one would say, I mean, looking at the statistics coming out uh, from your province and uh, looking at the drastic measures that you have decided to take uh, upon yourselves and to dehorn uh, the rhino, would you say that this is the only option you have to save these animals? No, it, it's not only it's not only the, the, the only options that we have. Um, you know, it's it's just one of the extreme options that we have to explore. Um, and and as, as I say, this is something that we have been watching closely uh, because it is an option that we wouldn't want to rush into taking until such time that we feel the rate at which that at which we're losing rhinos. Uh, requires of us to trigger it. So there's quite a number of things that we're actually doing and actually have initiated in the recent times uh, to curb the, 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 the poaching levels. Uh, one of which is we now have uh, um, approved another strategy, a very comprehensive strategy that looks at issues like uh, integrity testing to make sure that your, the integrity of your staff that work within that space are such that they can trust each other with information, with work that they that that they in. We have increased, um, you know, um, the and improved our boundary uh, fence um, to ensure that we have what we call smart fence that uh, is able to uh, enable us to 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 see the triggers where the fence has been compromised. We've spent um, in 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 the um, above. I think about 14 million now, 4 million of which, no, in fact, it's not even 14 million, it's 40, 54 million, because 10 million uh, was coming from the provincial government and about 40 million was coming from the national government to ensure that we improve the integrity of our boundary fencing, which is where incursions are actually experienced. So it is just the elevation uh, of the fight, if you like of the efforts that we've put or that we've invested in fighting um, this uh, scourge of, of rhino. Mm. And Joe, earlier on you also spoke about how expensive uh, this exercise can become. Maybe just take us through, you know, um, how much it actually costs uh, to dehorn one rhino and how often do you need to do this? Yeah, yes, it, it actually, uh, you know, for 
Uh, a single rhino, it cost around, uh, you know, give or take 10,000, uh, just a, a process of, of, of dehorning um, each rhino. Um, and as you rightly say, you know, because remember, rhino horns are like the, the material of your nail in that it regrows, it regrow. So um, after about, you know, 18 to 24 months, you have to redo that process all over again, um, spending that much money into just dehorning. Uh, because if you don't do that, then the regrowth um, invites poachers to come and find something substantive, substantive to be able to take from that rhino, which compromise the animal itself. Mm. So, so the only way in which we, we were able to get into uh, a, pro, a, a program of this excessive expenditure was in partnership with WWF, as you rightly said in the beginning, uh, because otherwise, uh, you know, we wouldn't be able to plow, uh, you know, uh, north of some 50, uh, 50 million or so that we have to do for for a single tranche and then you know, after the the next uh, 18 months or so, you, you know, expend some more money into it, just like that. Uh, but we, we, we are not uh, concerned that uh, we would run out of money. I think for us, what, what we know this would do is that this would be a disruptive intervention and will make sure that, uh, you know, it makes it difficult for poachers to get into the park because mm. now for a change uh, there will be disincentive for them to get inside the park and out of curiosity what happens uh, to the horns after uh, you have dehorned this uh, from the rhino so so what happens to the horn is that we we have a uh, very uh, high level uh, high high guarded uh, secure uh, facility that as you know, as you, you can imagine, not too many people would have to know about. Uh, very secure uh, where we keep the rhinos. What happens is that they, they get notched. Firstly, you, 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 you notch those rhinos, you barcode them, you ensure them that they're kept in, the, in that safe uh, uh, area so, uh, that, you know, is guarded, well guarded, security, high tech security, uh, to ensure that there isn't any compromise uh, to it, and the Department uh, of National, uh, the National Department (DFFE), which is Department of uh, Fishery, Forestry, and the Environment, would have also the record of all these uh, uh, the, the 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 rhino that are poached and the horns that we keep, so 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 that in terms of audit, you know your numbers uh, are telling and that you know you don't compromise the the numbers that you have so so the security for that but also we use the opportunity that we get to uh capture a rhino to take other samples related to you know it could be the dna uh it could be yeah. you know other you know the blood samples uh, for other purposes mm. and joe you know dehorning uh, of uh, the rhino does this impact uh, the animal in any way in terms of uh, their behavior look um it doesn't significantly uh, impact the animal but but i can't really say that it doesn't uh, at all affect the rhino because we know that um, the horn is used uh, for a number of uh, behavioral uh, 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 patterns by by animals to protect their territory they use they use the horn to guide uh, the young ones they they use the 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 the, uh, the horn and a number of things just the behavioral attitude and behavioral you know, uh, patterns of how they live, they, to some degree, uh, depend on, on the rhino. But studies have shown that the impact is not such that, um, you know, uh, we, we would retard maybe the reproduction of the animals or it will be difficult for them to be able to thrive sustainably within, within the park. And that's why, um, you know, after assessments have been done about the efficacy of removing the horn and having the animal thrive, 
um, is successful, then we decided to opt for it as one of the tools that we then explore uh, when we feel that the threshold at which we are losing rhinos is such that we need to retard, at least in the immediate, uh, the uh, poaching levels. So, right. so we're not concerned um, about um, the behavior after the horn has been removed. All right, uh, Mr. Padima, thank you so much uh, for your time this evening. That is uh, Joe Padima, E. Zemvelo, KZN Wildlife uh, Scientific Services Executive uh, Manager, just talking to us there about the strategy in which uh, they have approached in terms of trying to protect rhinos in KwaZulu-Natal.